Alright, says it was going live. Shalom, shalom. All right. We are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. All right. We come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall and destruction of this wicked sinful kingdom called America, aka Babylon the Great, aka Egypt, aka Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. Before we get started, I'd like to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us his truth. And shalom to all the birds out there, got the four cones of earth pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. So you say shalom. All right, we're gonna start like we always do, okay, with the real children of Israel. All right, starting off with Judah, the so called Negroes, Benjamin, the so called West Indians, Levi, the so called Haitians, Simeon, the so called Dominicans, Zebulon, the so-called Panamanians to uh, uh, Guatemalans, all right? Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. Manasseh, the so-called Cubans. Gad, the so-called North American Indian tribes. Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indian tribes. Naphtali, the so-called Argentinians to Chileans, all right? Asher, the so-called Colombians to Uruguayans. And last but not least, Ishakar, the so-called Mexicans. If you see yourself on the sign according to the seat of your father, all right, or if you heard your, your, uh, uh, what the, the slave masters call you, man, all right, according to the seat of your father, you being an Israelite, come back and turn back to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, who the warning calls God and Jesus Christ before America is destroyed, man, okay, you know, and uh, you know, as we see in the news, man, uh, nothing is getting good here in America, man, okay, everything is getting worse and worse and worse here in America, man, okay. Un, un, uh, un, uh, like what you people want it to be, man. Okay, and the scriptures say that what you know that you're gonna seek a uh, peace, but you're gonna not you're not gonna find none. Can you get that at uh, Ezekiel seven? No, nope. Ezekiel seven twenty five. You know, all right. Our people, so-called so blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are looking for peace here in America. All right, but they're not gonna find it here in America, man. Why? Because America is not our rest, man. Okay, you know. It's Ezekiel chapter seven verse twenty five. Mm -hmm. Destruction coming, mm -hmm. and then she and they shall seek peace. No, it said destruction coming. All right, destruction is the what? The act of uh, 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 tearing something down. Okay, the act of burning something down. You know, uh, making something desolate, man. Okay, all right. So destruction coming. What? The destruction of America, and we see it being economically. You know, uh, the the infrastructure, the uh, the morale of the people. Okay, all of this is being destroyed. All right, and people is going to seek peace, okay, a peaceful time, you know, all goods, uh, sugar and honey snacks, man, okay? All right, but what's going to happen? And there shall be none. And there shall be none, man, okay? You know, you're going to seek after peace. That's why people are protesting right now, all right? Protesting, marching, doing whatever. Why? Because they're seeking peace, but there shall be none. We're in the time of no peace, man. We're in the time of war right now, man, okay? You know, there's a time of peace and there's a time of war, and that's according to the scriptures, man. Uh, right now, we're in a time that what? Death and destruction is going to be raining throughout the four corners of the earth at its highest form here in America. Okay? That's okay. No, you read that one more time? Yeah. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. It says, Destruction cometh, and what? They shall seek peace. And there shall be none, man. So when you're over here marching, okay, you know, over here protesting, all right? Well, if you don't know, a protest is really an act of war, okay? You know, what did uh, America do when they uh, um, 
when they, they didn't want to be a part of Great Britain no more, man. All right. They protested, you know, the Boston Tea Party, you know, uh, so-called, you know, uh, when they dressed up as uh, Native Americans, you know, the uh, tribe of Gad and threw tea off the, uh, the ships. OK, what else? The, uh, you know, just the, uh, the, sh the strikes on, you know, uh, buying goods and stuff. All those are protests was what act of war and what happened. The, uh, the the queen, all right, of that time, all right, the queen and king of England, all right, what did they do? They sent soldiers over to America to what? To police the people, man, okay? And that's what you're seeing here in America. That's what's going on. Protest is really an act of war, and y'all people don't even know it, man, all right? You know, you're going up to these uh, protests um, to uh, uh, protest for peace, not knowing that uh, death and destruction is right around the corner for you, man, okay? You know? This is uh, 2nd Edges, chapter 15, verse 26. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, know of all them that sin against him. Matter of fact, you can go to verse 5 and then jump to verse 26. Uh, this is 2nd Edges 15 and 5. Mm -hmm. Behold, saith Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, I will bring plagues upon the world. He says, the Lord says, going to be plagues upon the world. When you look at that word plagues, it goes into what calamity, uh, 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 distress, you know, anguish. Okay, these are the things that are going uh, going to happen into this earth. Okay, and if you don't know what uh, anxiety and anguish is, all right, it's what you know, not knowing if you're going to live the next moment. You're not knowing what's going on. Okay, because people are clueless, man. You know, it says the sword, mm -hmm, the sword, which is an instrument of war. Okay, an instrument of death. Okay, but you you don't use the sword. In a, in, a, in a party backyard cooking, man. Okay? You know, use the sword in a time of war, man. Okay? You know? All right? So that's the time when they were living in a time of war. Can you read it? Famine. A famine. A lack of bread. A lack of water. All right? Which, um, there was just a, a news article that uh, some waste just spilled into the, uh, uh, the Fayetteville uh, Cross Creek, um, um, uh, water supply, man. You know? Waste, man. So it showing was, you that... Uh, uh, I seen it. It was like, uh... 3,000 gallons of water uh, spilled into um, a creek or something like that. Yep, yep. So that's a, that's a shortage of water right there. Yep, right. And, and it, it said it was waste, too. You know? So waste and water was spilled into a creek, which is what? Another water uh, access to. You can't get um, access to water through the, you know, Esau's way. You could go to a creek, you know, so-called fl flowing water, man, and get water with what? You got, now you got the waters polluted. So this is a famine, what? A lack of resource of bread and water. All right, can we read it real It says death and destruction. It says death and destruction, okay? You know? So we're, we're looking at mass death, okay? Mass death is coming to this place in America, okay? All right, and it said destruction, man. This whole place is going to be destroyed by icy and thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, that's written in the scriptures, man, okay? But first, the Lord is uh, doing a surgical cut to this place man you know breaking it down from the inside all right if you know anything about a body okay you know or organism all right any living organism usually dies from the inside out you know there's something going on on the inside all right which is going to cause the outside to perish man okay so that's the same thing the lord's doing with america man he's breaking down the economy bringing down the infrastructure bringing breaking down the morale of the people okay which is soon going to lead to what the destruction of america as a whole man all right you know yeah, yeah, yeah. You jump to verse uh, 26. Like, where he's at? This is second Edges 15 and 26. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, know of all them that sin against him. Uh, the Lord knows all those that sin against him, man. All right, what is sin? According to the Bible, you break in the law, statutes, and commandments. I right, talk to you blacks, Hispanics, and, Na and Native Americans, man. Okay? So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? You know? To you, are you the only ones that can sin according to the Bible? All right. So that's you. What? What? Uh, breaking law, statutes, commandments. What's some of them? Uh, getting a shape up. You know, a lineup, tattoos, committing adultery with a uh, man sleeping with another man's wife, or a woman stepping out on her husband. Okay. You know. You know what? Uh, what else? Eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, being a homosexual, transgender, uh, uh, a lesbian. You know. Uh, just being, you know, all lewdness, man. That this world promotes, man. Okay. Defiling your temple. Yeah, defiling your temple, man. Okay, you know, these are this is sin according to the Bible, man. Being a thief, a liar, a thug, you know, a fat, you know, all these things are sins according to the Bible, man. All right, and that's just some of them that we just scratched the surface, man. 
You know, because our people are indulged in a bunch of wickedness. But the Lord said he know all of those that sin against him, man. All right? It says, verse 26, For the Lord knoweth all of them that sin against him, mm -hmm. and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. And he delivereth them unto death and destruction. See, you don't, you don't realize that the Lord is actually going to hand you over to the spirit of death, man. Okay? Since you want to call yourself black, Okay, when you look at the word black, it goes into death, dead, void of light. You want to call yourself these things, all right? You want to call yourself these proverbs and bywords. Well, guess what? You're going to be a, a result of that, man. Okay, you're going to end up dying, okay? You know, you want to be a, a Native American Indian, okay? You're going to be a savage, man, okay? You know? You know, and what happens to a savage? Esau says what? You got to piss savages to death, man, you know? You know, so you go to what? Our people are going to suffer death and destruction. Those are going to give you over to the hands of death and destruction. Which the harbinger of death is Esau eating the so-called white man. Okay? You know, it's sleazy E, man. All right? For, verse 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, mm -hmm. and ye shall remain in them. Remember the sword, uh, instrument of war, instrument of death. Okay? Famine, death, and destruction. Those are the plagues. And they come upon the whole earth. All right, read that again one more time. Verse 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Come upon the whole earth. All right, keep on reading. And ye shall remain in them. And ye shall remain in them. Meaning what? The Lord's going to leave you in them to suffer. Okay? Why? Because you did not want to hearken unto him. Keep on reading. For the Most High shall not deliver you. Yeah, he will not deliver you because when you read in uh, Sirach 2, the Lord said he's, he's the God of that saveth out of trouble, saveth in the times of trouble and he saved those that what fear trust and call upon his holy name but two-thirds of our people they're not going to do so so the lord says he's going to deliver you into death and destruction and you're going to remain in it and he won't deliver you okay all right all right because ye have sinned against him because ye has sinned against him man and just in case you don't believe that that scripture is talking about right now all right we'll get another precept to back it up that the lord is really about what he says man let me get jeremiah 11 11 while we get that, I'll get the, uh, I'll get another scripture. You no, know, because the Lord right, is not playing with our people no more, man. Our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, you don't want to get right with the God of the Bible, all right, you're going to have to suffer great judgment according to the Bible, man, all right? Yeah, yeah. It's Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Behold, I will bring evil upon them. Uh huh. The Lord says He's going to bring evil upon them. When you look up the word evil, I right, break it down. Eve meaning time, okay? And ill meaning bad, okay? You know? Because when you have an illness, what? Your body, your body is in bad condition. And you look up the word Eve, it's talking about the time, you know? For example, you got the word Eve comes from the word evening, okay? You know? So you talk about a bad time, okay? He said, the Lord's going to bring bad times, those calamities, those plagues upon you. That you said, what, bro? It says, verse 11, Jeremiah 11, 11. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right. Behold, I will bring evil upon them, That's right. which they shall not be able to escape. Which they shall not be able to escape. That means what? You're cornered, man. Okay? The Lord, you can't escape none of this, man. Okay? You're trapped. Okay? Two-thirds of our people are trapped in the judgment of the Lord, man. It's written, man. Okay? There's certain people of the, uh, you know, of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Blacks, Hispanics, and, and Native American Indians, all right? You know? There's a certain amount of you, all right, that are what? Trapped for judgment, man. Okay? You know? The Lord is going to destroy you, man. Okay? Why? Because you didn't want to hearken unto his words, man. All right? You can read it. It says... And though they cry unto me, uh, though you cry unto me, you could be crying on Allah, Santa Maria, uh, the Hindu guy Shiva, uh, Jesus Christ. You're gonna be calling on all those names, thinking that you're talking to, you know, the the Most High, man, Yahweh Bashim But guess what? Guess what the Lord's gonna do? I will not hearken unto them. Uh -huh. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So all the all the tribes, all right, from the so-called Negroes. To the Hispanics, to the Native Americans, the whole tribe, man. The Lord is not going to hear you in that time, man. Hearken means to hear, to listen, you know, to take heed to. The 
Lord is not going to hear you when you're crying that day, man. You know, that is a very serious matter, man. Okay? You know? That means the Lord is going to be looking at you. You're trying to call unto him, but he's not, he's not even going to uh, 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 regard you, man. Okay? You know? It says, Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto their gods unto whom they offer incense. That's right. But they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. Kind of said, what? The, see, our people in that day, they're going to cry unto the gods that they serve here in America, man. Whether it might be a literal person, you know, or the, you know, the gods of Santa Maria, the Buddhas, the Allahs, the Hindu god of Shiva, you know, your Malachi Z Yorks, your, your Polites, whatever, man, whoever you worship, okay? That's not Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, all right? In that day, all right, you, you're gonna go cry unto those guys. Let's say, watch, you're gonna go cry unto those guys, but they're not gonna be able to save you, okay? You know? But guess what? What's on the flip side? The Lord is the one that saveth unto those that what, that call upon his name, that fear him, and, 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 and uh, uh, that trust in him, man, okay? And I got the priest over here. I wanna read, I wanna read it real fast. This is uh, Sirach 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see that ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or whom did he ever despise that called upon him that you what use the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and the answer is no 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 the Lord never forsake the ones that trusted him he never confounded you know those that feared him and guess what all those that call, called upon the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai you know he delivered man and I keep on reading verse 11 it says for Yahweh is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. See, and that's only what? For those that fear him, all right, that, that trust in him and that call upon his holy name. Because you just read in Jeremiah that what? That he's, our people go to cry unto gods that, uh, um, that they've been serving, all right, but they're not going to save them in the time of this death and destruction. When takes are rolling down your street and it's martial law and they're shooting down people for no reason, which is happening right all over the uh, country right now, all right, and all, all over the America, all right, you know, you're not going to be saved up out of that unless what you fear, trust, and call upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Yes, sir. It's Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, mm -hmm. and ye sh and ye all, it's like it. And ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. The Lord says he's going to number you to the sword. All right? That means each and every member of the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, which is 66.6% .6 majority of our people. All right? The Lord is going to deliver you unto death and destruction. And there's a certain amount of number of you for each destruction. You want to read it, bro? It says, And ye shall bow down to the slaughter. Mm -hmm. Because when I call... You did not answer. Meaning, if when you bow down, that means you're under servitude or something. Something's over you, okay? Meaning you're subject to it. The Lord just said that he's going to make you bow down to the side, so there's no ways out of it. You know, you can't get out of the death and destruction the Lord's going to bring unto you, man. All right? And the Lord's about to go into the things that he's going to bring for our people, man. All right? It says, when I spake, you did not hear, uh -huh. but did evil before my eyes. And did choose that wherein I did, I delighted not. All right, you choose to do everything contrary to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, okay? You didn't want to get right with the God of the Bible, man. You wanted to be a hoe, a slut, a thug, a gangster, okay? You know? You wanted to be a, a scammer, all right? You, you just want to be everything that this world promotes that's contrary to the God of the Bible, man. Right, but the Lord got a gift a present, a reward for you for doing those evil, evil things, man. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, mm -hmm. behold, my servants shall eat, mm -hmm. but ye shall be hungry. See, my servants are going to eat. The Lord said, the ones that call upon my name, that fear me, that trust in me, they go eat when the time when there's no food out here. I'm going to make sure they eat. They go be good, okay? But you, you will be starving in that day, all right? It says, behold, my servant shall drink, mm -hmm. but ye shall be thirsty. Servant's going to have clean drinking water, yeah, yam, whatever the Lord has for them, man. All right? And that day, the Lord's going to allow them to have that, man, and be and be plenteous in it, man. Okay? 
okay? You know? But you, you're going to be starving. You're going to be uh, dehydrated, you know? Oh, why? Because you didn't want to hearken unto the God of the Bible, man. We tell our people what? Hearken unto Yahweh by Shema Shai, turning back, repenting, or which means to sorry for you to turn back, okay? You know, that is the best thing you could possibly do with the Lord, man. All right? Because the Lord will then take care of you, man. Okay? You know? It says, Behold, my servant shall rejoice, mm -hmm. but ye shall be shamed, ashamed. See, the servants are going to rejoice. Why? Because they'll be glad that they feared the Lord. And now what? The Lord is going to take care of them. You know, he's going to provide for them. Man. Okay? You know, you say, ye shall be ashamed. You're going to be embarrassed. That what? That you never hearken unto the Lord, man. All right? You know, because our people like to uh, uh, do the last minute thing, man. All right? But there is no last minute uh, uh, nonsense with the Lord, man. You either get right now, all right, or you perish later, man. All right? Matter of fact, you get that, uh, I believe it's uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7, 5, or 5 and 7. You know? Because the Lord said, do not put it off from day to day. I believe it's 5 and 7. Nah, it's the other way around. And that's security? That should be. And that's 7 and 5 or 5 and 7? Oh, yeah, it's 5 and 7. Yeah, 5 and 7. All right, kind of, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You know? Because our people, what? They want to, you know, wait until the last minute, but the Lord is not about that, man. That's, that's a rock, 5 and 7. It's a rock. My bad. I said wisdom. It's a rock, kind of. You know? All right, so, hey, man, the Lord is about to tell you right now. Uh, on what you should be doing, man, as an Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, all right, Black, Hispanic, or a uh, 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 Native American Indian, man, or right? Indian, all right? The Sirach, also known as Ecclesiastes, chapter 5, verse 7, mm -hmm. make no tarry to turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. It said, make no tarry to turn to the Lord, man, okay? Tarry means to pit it off, thinking, you know, I'll, I'll serve the Lord after I'm done what I'm doing, okay? Don't say that, man. Okay? You know, we're about to get why you shouldn't say that in your mind, man. Okay? And put not off from day to day. So, and put not off from day to day, man. All right? Meaning what? Don't slack. Don't procrastinate on it, man. You can't procrastinate when it comes to the Lord, man. You know? All right? Because you don't know whether if you turn down the next street, you get in your car, you know, you don't know what's going to happen to you. You know, you might walk down the street and get hit by a bus hit by a car. You might hop in your vehicle, turn on the engine, and the car blow up. You don't know what's going to happen next. Time. So what? You turn to the Lord now so you could be what? Safe. Be, be protected. Be defended, man. Okay? You know? For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua come forth. It just says suddenly. It means out of nowhere. Alright? All of a sudden. You know? People use that term. All of a sudden it, it caught them off guard. You know? And for a lot of our people, majority of our people, the death and destruction that's about to come to this place in America is going to catch them off guard. They're not going to be expecting the death and destruction, you know? Can we remember? It says, For suddenly shall the wrath of, the, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua come forth, mm -hmm. and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. Okay? You know, you don't want to perish. A perish is not a pretty, a pretty word, man. All right? It means to what? To die. Okay? That means what? If you don't want to hearken unto the guy of the Bible, the Lord said what? That in that day that death and destruction comes, you want to procrastinate when it comes to the Lord. When death and destruction comes, you're going to be consumed by it, man. You know, so that's why we tell our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to get right with the guy of the Bible before death and destruction comes, man. You know? Uh, read a little more. It says, set. Oh, we're all right. Say you some oh, no, we're fine. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No, you too. You too. It says, uh, Sirach 5 and 8. Set not thy heart upon good unjustly mm -hmm. got it. All right. You know, and that's the ways of this world, man. Okay. Set not your heart on those things because that's what prolongs our people from turning to the Lord, you know? You know, our people are, what, concerned with the ways of this world, how can they come up, all right, and they was like, well, if I serve the Lord, then I won't be able to get the things that I want in this world, you know? You know, forsake all those things, man. Don't set upon the goods of this world, man, which were gotten by what? Wickedness, man. Everybody that got something here in America that's rich, that's famous, they all got it by what? By 
performing wicked things, man. All right, you got to be wicked to be fully successful in America. You know, you know, you know, on the on the level with people, what people will call success. You know, you got to do wicked acts. You know, for they shall not profit thee in the day of, I mean, slacking. For they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. All right, they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. That's a precept right there to what? Riches profit or not in the day of wrath, man. Okay? You know, so everything that you want to stack up here in America, it's not like you can pay off death when it comes, man. You know? When death comes, it's coming, man. Okay? And that's why we tell our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to turn back to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man, before it's too late, man. Because the times that we're coming in, like, brother's been harping, and we're going to keep on harping, until, you know, we're off these streets, man. To what? To turn back to repent to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Because you need to. All right? If you want to live, you need to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? I'll read one more verse down. This is very, I just want to hear. It says, verse 9, when now not, it says, when now not with every wind, and go not into every way, you know. Hey, don't go into every way. When you look at that word way, like we brother, me and the brother was just speaking about it before we came up. All right, the word way goes into conduct. Don't go into the way that everybody conducts themselves, man, or the way um, this world conducts itself because everybody conducts themselves in a different manner, even us. All right, we conduct ourselves the way it's according to the scriptures, man. Okay, you know. All right, so it said, don't go in with every basically that's another piece of what don't go with any wayward doctrine. You know, don't go with the with the doctrines like the wind, man. Okay? You know? You read that one more time, bro. Uh so rock five and nine. When now not every wind, I mean, for now not with every wind, and go not into every way. That's right. For so doth the sinner that have a double tongue. You know, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. These people go into any and everything, man. They might be a uh, Egyptologist, but they're reading the Bible. Man. You got these uh, dudes who are in the uh, nation of Islam, but every time they speak, they come out the Bible, you know? You know? So don't be like these people in the world. We're what? We're one track minded and the one track minded according to the scriptures, man. But you need to be, because if you're not, all right, you're not, that, you're not even going to think about coming back to the Lord, man. You know? A lot of brothers, you know, some brothers were born raised up in the church and in, in the scriptures, but a lot of brothers that were, and when we heard this word, we're like, I never heard it, you know, preached like that. And what well, we took heed to these words, because Jake, you know, we always believe that, you know, the, you know, the guy of the Bible, he has, his, you know, his word out there, you know, stuff. But this is why we need to tell our people they need to turn back, man. All right. You get a, a, a Ezekiel uh, 14 and 6. You know, because you know, we need to tell our people and we always going to do it, you know, because that's the main thing. The main topic for our people is like to repent at the end of the day. Everything else will come uh, down down the uh, line afterwards, man. After you repent and turn back to the Lord, man. Okay? You know? This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Therefore, say unto the house of Israel. That's right. Thus saith Yahweh power. All right. So, thus saith the Lord to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Blacks, Hispanics, and uh, Native American Indians, man. Okay? Unto you, what are we saying? Repent and turn yourselves from your idols. Now repent and turn back from your idols, man. All right, sorrowfully turn back for the wickedness that you've committed against the God of the Bible, man. Okay, which we named them, some of them earlier. Tattoos, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, committing adultery, uh, you know, homosexuality, bestiality, you know, all these wicked things that's in the world, okay? You know, turn back from it, because the scriptures say that what? All sin could be forgiven, but for the, uh, the sin of, you know, the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, man, okay? So if you if you believe in this word, it don't matter what you win, man, right? If you turn back to the Lord, you know, the Lord can have mercy upon you, man, okay? You know? It says, repent and turn yourselves away, I mean, turn yourselves from your idols mm -hmm. and turn away your face from all your abominations. Stop doing those things. So not only are you saying sorry to the Lord, but repentance is actual action word, you know? It's something that you perform, you know? So, stop doing those things, man. Change your life according to the scriptures, man. Alright, that's the most important thing that you can do out here, man. Alright, because that will show what? The fear of the Lord, man. That you fear death, man. You fear of dying in a harsh manner, man. Okay? You know, you fear the judgment of the Lord, man, because brothers, 
got the four corners of the earth that's out here preaching his word. We fear the, the, the judgment of the Lord. This is why we're out here doing these things, man. All right, because the Lord has called us to, to preach the word and we feared what would happen to us if we didn't hearken, man. Okay? And our people need to do the same thing, but we know only the elect of the nation of Israel will do so. You read it, bro? It says, verse 7 For everyone of the house of Israel mm -hmm. or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, mm -hmm. which separateth himself from me. So if you want to separate yourself from the God of the Bible, all right? This is what's going to happen to you. Try separating yourself from the Lord and come inquiring of us what's going to happen. The Lord said this is what's going to happen to you. And set up his idols in his heart and put up a stumbling block of iniquity before his face mm -hmm. and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me. So you, you allowed your, your wickedness to trip you up, you know, and now you want to know on what's going to happen to you. All right, this is what the Lord said, right? It says, I, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will answer him by myself. And the Lord said in the scriptures, what? That uh, who, who shouldn't be utterly beaten into powder at the presence of the Lord, man? You know? <laughs> you know? Hey, but if you want to get it, you can get it, bro. You know? Because that's the precept, man. The Lord said he's going he's gonna to visit you himself, man. You know? And the Lord, when he comes, he's not doing no talking. We're the mouthpiece of the Lord. So we're doing the talking. We're the ambassadors of the Lord. All right? But when the king comes off the throne, so to speak, you know, Lord Yahweh Shai, when he returns, all right, he's not going to be talking. A king, when he gets off the throne to go to battle, he just goes to battle. Okay? You know? But he sends forth what his ambassadors to speak in first. And we're those ambassadors, man. So hearken unto the, what? The prophets, man. You know? It's the second address, chapter... 16 verse 11. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall threaten, mm -hmm. and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? See, right now, what you don't realize is that the God of the Bible is actually threatening you right now. Okay? You know? You know, the word, when the scriptures say to convince, you know, our people, all right, it really means to what? To threaten. Okay? We are threatening our people with the judgments of the Lord, man. We're telling them if they don't get right, it is guaranteed that they will die by the hands of the Lord, man. Okay? That's another word for persuade. That's threaten. right. That's right. To persuade somebody is to threaten them. Okay? And, you know, you're convincing them through threats. You know? And that's how the Lord is right now. The Lord is threatening our people to get right with him, man. You know? You know so, get to, to our people, get right with the God of the Bible. All right? Talking to the elected nation of Israel. If you hear these words and you believe, get yourself right. Repent. Okay? Because if not, this is going to happen to you. Read that one more time. This is uh, 2nd Edger 16 and 11. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah shall threat mm -hmm. and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. Who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence, man. When the Lord come to visit you, it's a rock for you. You're going to be be beaten into powder, man. There is no uh, 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 hugs or kisses, man. The Lord is coming all rage, man. You know, it's written, that's written in the scriptures, man. All right, can we get Isaiah uh, 13? And, um, start at verse 9, you know? Uh, uh, but it's like, as a matter of fact, finish the, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, finish that. This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 8. I will set my face against that man, uh -huh. and I will make him a sign and a proverb. And, and an example. So the Lord is going to set your, his face against you, meaning you're going to be his enemy. And now we are enemy of the Lord. Look at in the scriptures, all the enemies of the Lord perished. They all died. They did not survive. Okay? You know? So this is the power that we're dealing with. Can read? And I will cut him off from the midst of my people. Meaning he's going to pitch you to death. All right? And leave you as an example, man. All right? How not to be. Can read? And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. And you're going to know that it was the Lord that did these things, man. You know? Now, because we said what? The Lord's coming with. But anger, when the Lord comes, he ain't coming sweet and he ain't coming all soft, man. You know? So to speak, if you want to say, the Lord's coming gentle right now with us being out here on the highways and byways, man. You know? That's the Lord coming gentle, man. Okay? You know? But soon, the Lord's about to come with fierce anger, man. All right? And we're going to read down this scripture, Isaiah, man. Isaiah 13, and, and, and um, I believe it's verse 9. It's the verse 9, man. Okay? You know? The Lord's coming back, you know, uh, with, ven with vengeance, man. It's not going to be a pretty sight when the Lord pops up on the scene, man. All right? This 
it's Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha cometh. Mm -hmm. Cruel. Well, it said cruel. Now, someone who's cruel is someone who uh, does something intentionally to hurt you. You know, it means what? Intentionally causing pain to somebody. You know, willfully causing pain. You know, because you might hit somebody by accident. You didn't mean to do that, man. So that's not cruel. But now you might sit somebody down, shackle them to the chair, and use a knife to slowly cut into their body. That's torture. That's cruel. Okay? You know? The Lord said he's coming cruel and what, brother? It says, <clears throat> it says cruel both with wrath and fierce anger. Both with wrath and fierce anger, meaning what? He's coming very angry. All right? When Lord Yahweh shouted, when he calls Jesus Christ coming back, He's not coming back all nice like these church pastors want to tell you, man. And it's crazy to the spirit. I don't know, but you know, brothers, we're right in front of a church, man. And these church pastors ain't gonna tell you that the God of the Bible is gonna come in, in, in a very violent manner, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I could uh unloosen it so brothers can see. You know? Right in front of a church, man. You know? These church pastors ain't telling you that uh death and destruction is coming, okay? You know? They're telling you that what? Hugs and kisses is coming, man. All right? You know? This is Isaiah 13 and 9. Behold, the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah cometh cruel, mm -hmm. both with wrath and fierce anger. That's right. To so do what, bro? To lay the land desolate. To lay the land desolate. So when the Lord coming back, he 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 laying a stuff down, man. Okay? You know? He's burning stuff down, man. He's tearing things down when he comes, man. You know, he's not coming nice. Right right now, the Lord is coming uh, 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 gentle, nice, man, so to speak. Right now, it might, brothers might be coming out with rude speech sometime, but guess what? That's still the Lord coming out nice, man. Because right now, the Lord's talking to you. And it, uh, Jake already know in, in, you know in the in the hood, when the dude stop talking to you, that's when you need to start being scared, man. You know? Because now he's about the action, man. And that's the Lord, man. When he comes back, he'll be about that action, man. You know? It says, <clears throat> to, to lay the land desolate, uh -huh. and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Now, I said he's going to destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Now, we went into earlier that what? Sin is transgression on the law of the Bible. Now, a quick English lesson. Anytime you add an ER to the end of a word, it, that, that now, that, uh, that verb, now it becomes the person who's committing that uh, that action, okay? All right. So now it says sinners to so those, because the church, what they say, oh, the Lord's gonna uh, hate to sin, not to sin. That's not true. God, the Bible just said what? That He's gonna destroy the sinners, that person who's committing that act, out of this land, man. And two thirds of our people are gonna be destroyed out of America, man, for not hearkening unto the words, for tearing, for procrastinating, for not getting right with the Lord, man. Right? Chime in, brother. You know, anytime you want to chime in, chime in, bro. Have a little bit. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You want me to? Yeah, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. I got one. Yeah. It's uh, Sirach chapter 10, verse 12. Mm -hmm. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High. And it said the beginning of pride, or when man becomes prideful, what the Lord hates a prideful man, okay? Is when one departs from his maker. All right, you start departing from what the Lord told you to do, the commandments of this Bible. All right, that sinner is going to be destroyed, man. All right, can you read it? And his heart is turned away from his maker. His heart, meaning his mind, the lob, which means Hebrew, which means your mind, the lob right here, is turned away from his maker. Okay, you know, that mind is thinking, I ain't going to do what the Lord told me to do. I'm going to do my thing, my own thing. Okay, that's where pride kicks in, but pride is going to what? Cause what, brother? You want to read it? For pride is the beginning of sin. Uh huh. And he, sh and he that, sh and he that have it shall pour out abomination. Abomination is a wicked, detestable, filthy act. All right. So if you have pride, eventually what? You're gonna start doing things that the Lord completely hates, because the Lord hates of all abominations. Okay. You know. All right. Now, if you're doing those things that the Lord hates, you don't think the Lord's gonna come back very angry? He's gonna visit you, and it ain't gonna be nice. No? And therefore, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah brought upon him, I mean, part of, brought upon them strange calamities. Strange calamities. Not just normal death. You didn't die in your sleep. You know, you didn't get in a car accident. 
you know? Or if you did, it wasn't just like a normal fender bender, you know? All right, your, your judgment was serious, man. You got people dropping out of windows, getting split by poles, you know? Getting hit by a car, getting an accident, the body flies, half of the body flies out the windshield while the other half is sitting in the seat. Strange, out of, out of ordinary, that's what strange means. You're gonna have an out of ordinary death, you know? That shows, really, that shows who was wicked and who wasn't. And their death was out of the ordinary, man. okay? And therefore the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, brought upon them strange calamities. That's right. And overthrew them utterly. And, other through, and overthrew them completely. Because utterly means completely. So the Lord utterly destroyed you, man. Okay, why? Because you don't want to hearken unto the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? You know? So that's what's going to happen. You, you now you go back to Isaiah and jump down to verse uh, 11. This is uh, Jeremiah 13 and 11. I, you know, I, I mean, I, it's, it's like it. This is Isaiah 13 and 11. I will punish the world for their evil. Uh, the world for their evil. All right. These people in this world that's committing wicked acts, the Lord's going to punish them, okay, for doing on um, these things, man. Right? All right. Because right now, Lord, the prophets, starting off with apostles, the elders, great millstones, and the men on down like us, we're telling you the right things to do, all right? To repent, turn back to the Lord, hearken unto the law, such commandments to the best of your ability, man. All right, you know, do what's pleasing unto the Lord. We're telling you these things, but you don't want to hearken unto it, you know. All right. And the wicked for their iniquity. And the wicked for their iniquity, man. All right, now iniquity is what sin upon sin. All right, talk about the wicked of our people, you know, two thirds of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, the Lord's gonna punish you for all of your stacked up sins that you didn't repent for, you know. It says, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. He's going to cause the arrogancy of the proud, the one that turned off away from his maker, to cease. Because when somebody is proud and then they're brought down to a low estate, that pride diminishes, man. You know? They become feeble. You know? And they're, they're now uh, humble, so to speak. So, because see, the Lord is going to humble uh, this whole world, either, uh, whether two ways. Whether the hum humility is what? Uh, 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 done willingly, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. They're humbling themselves willingly before the eyes of the Lord. And guess what? That's going to cause them to be protected. All right? Or you could be part of the wicked who's going to be forcefully humble, man. Okay? You know? And forcefully humble does not, is not a pretty process, man. That means what? You're going to have to suffer death and destruction, man. You know? All right? You all right? And he says, And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Mm hmm and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. All right, the Lord's gonna lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, which is another word for arrogancy, man, okay? The Lord's gonna lay low all pride, man. All right, if you're a prideful being on this planet, man, all right, which pride wasn't made for man, according to the scriptures, okay? You're gonna be destroyed by the God of the Bible, plain and simple, man, okay? You know, you're gonna have that strange calamity uh, come upon you because you didn't want to repent until you howl by Shemuel yeah. Shai, man. This is why we keep on telling the people to repent. Turn from your wicked ways. You get that in Acts real fast. You know, um, I believe it's the, uh, is it the ninth chapter? Which one is it? Um, you know, repent. Oh, yeah, 319. Yeah, yep, yep, 3, yeah, 319, kind, kind. You know, it's telling our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, all right, to repent from their wicked deeds, man, all right, and turn back to the God of the Bible, man, all right, because your power can protect you in the day of destruction, man. You know, and he will protect his elect, okay? This is Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, mm -hmm. that your sins may be blotted out. And your sins may be blotted out, erased. All right? So not only do you repent, but be converted. Change your life, according to the scriptures, man. Change your, your whole way of living, all right? And mirror it to the, how the men of the Lord, the, the believers in the scriptures, we're acting, you know? Scripture said what? These words are written for our learning, right? So learn how to act according to the scriptures, man. You know? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. So when the Lord come back, you want to be on that, that uh, tip of his good side, man. You know, you don't want to be found in uh, the hands of the Lord for death and destruction. Man. You want to be found in the hands of the Lord for what? Life and preservation, man. Okay? Because he's only going to preserve those that love him, man, that keep his commands to the best of his ability, that do according to his will, man, okay, you know, you know, matter of fact, you get Isaiah 1, 
Yep. Yep. You know? So our people, we're about to show you what's going to happen for those who are obedient, who humble themselves, who serve the Lord, and then compare it to those that don't want to serve the Lord, which is two-thirds of our people compared to the elect of the nation of Israel. Are you ready, Deborah? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 19. Mm -hmm. If ye be willing mm -hmm. and obedient. If ye be willing and obedient, what's going to happen, brother? Ye shall eat the good of the land. Now, willing and obedient are literally the synonyms to being humble. If you want to humble yourself, all right, before the eyes of the Lord, all right, you should out eat the good of the land. And the good of the land that we want to take part of, the first go round, is the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay? You know? Being, being up into a chariot with the word and it calls UFOs. Okay? You know? That is what the humble is going to receive that uh, that reward, man. All right, but we're going to read on what's going to happen to the opposite of two thirds of our people. But if you refuse and rebel, all right, on the contrary, because that word but means on the contrary, if you want to refuse, you know, you want to be argumentative about everything, you don't want to, you just want to be in denial about everything. If you refuse, and what, brother? But if you refuse and rebel, rebel means to what? The fight against, okay? All right, which scripture say what rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. If you rebel against the Lord, you're a witch. Which a witch, according to the scriptures, they got put to death. Okay, you know? And two thirds of our people are, are nothing but a uh, seed of witches, man. Okay? Why? Because they don't want to hearken unto Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right? You should be devoured with the sword. Uh, what? An instrument of war. You're going to be devoured with the sword, a killing instrument, man. And one of the Lord's swords is Esau, you know, so called white man. Along with the calamities and death and destruction that the Lord is going to be bringing upon this place, America, man. Okay? Yeah. For the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has spoken it. For the mouth of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, all right, who the word he calls God in Jesus Christ has spoken it. So, I mean, what? It will happen. Because the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. All right? So, everything that the Lord said is going to is gonna actually happen. So, you don't want to hearken to the, to the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or right, you will suffer death. And that's plain and simple. If we can't get more plainer than that, man. If you don't want to suffer death, a horrible death, turn back unto the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Call upon his holy name, all right? Trust in him, all right? And fear him, okay? You know? And you, you'll you be all right, man. All right? You said the Lord uh, doesn't lie. Mm -hmm. So this to prove the point. That's right. Numbers 23 and 19. The Most High is not a man. I mean, is a... It's like you. This is Numbers 3 and 19. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. And the Lord doesn't lie. Okay? Everything that he says comes to pass. Okay? You know? And that's, he, the, and that's like, and that's the Heavenly Father. Okay? You know? Neither the Son of Man. Neither the Son of Man. The only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai. So these two entities who are separate, all right, but with one mind, they do not lie. Whatever they say is the truth. Okay? All right? And we just read what? For the mouth of Yahweh has spoken it. That what? Two thirds of our people, because they refuse to rebel, are going to be devoured in death and destruction, man. Okay? You know, consumed or utterly, as you read earlier, man. Okay? You know? That he should repent, have he said, I mean, Salaki, have he said, and shall it not be, and shall not, Salaki, have he said, and shall he not do it? I mean, what? Everything the Lord has said. All right, has come to pass. Reading the scriptures. The flood, 70 AD, us going into slavery. All of these are examples of the Lord saying things that were going to happen. Prophecy, and these things actually did happen. So the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. All right, so what makes you think is any different now? Okay, the God of the Bible is telling our people that what? To get right with him or you will suffer death and destruction, man. All right, and it's that plain and simple, man. And that's what we're telling. That's the message, man. All right, repent or die, man. Okay, you know? And we know that the elect, they don't want to die, so they go get right with the Lord, man. Right? But two thirds of the people, they don't realize that they uh, uh, want to die, man. Okay? You know? Or have he spoken, and shall it not make good? All right. Meaning what? Have he spoken and, and not come to pass? The answer is no. Everything the Lord has spoken has come to pass, will come to pass, and has actually happened right now as he speak, man. Okay? America's. Is, is uh, crumbling, and the scriptures talk about how America's going to crumble, man. You know, all these things are happening, and the, the, the God of the Bible, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, said it's going to happen. Everybody, check the keyboard fast. Make sure. 
you know? Yeah, okay, we got another uh, 20, 20, 25 minutes. Stuff, you know? Because we told our people, you know, they need to get right with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. Because the time that we're coming in is going to be a very doomy and gloomy day. Because you know, just want to make sure our brothers can hear us and everything. We we heard it, it's everything good. But talk to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Get right with the God of the Bible, man. You know, before America's destroyed, man. Okay, turn back to your power, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, which is his names in the ancient Hebrew. Because you are Hebrew Israelites, man. You know. Jeremiah chapter. Three verse fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who, who, who set that up? Uh, GMS on the move. Uh, kind, kind, kind. It says, "And I will give you pastors according to my heart." All right, because the Lord is sending up men. All right, to what to preach the word, man. Okay, so the Lord's giving you pastors, which means spiritual guides. That what? Which shall feed you knowledge and understanding. That shall feed you knowledge and understanding of what the scriptures. So. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, that's what we're feeding you with, man. All right, the knowledge and understanding of the the, God, the words of the God of the Bible, man. Okay, you know, we're teaching our people how to turn back to the Lord, what to do, the steps it takes, man. Okay, you know, Which, and it all starts with what repentance, man. You need to repent and turn back to the Lord, man, for your evil doings, man. Okay, you know, you know, uh, 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 pray. We just came out of the Day of Atonement, which is a day of repentance. You know, atoning for your sins, you know, and that really that mind frame should be a, a daily mind frame, you know. You know, fix the tabernacle. That's a humble and old time for us too. Yep, yep, yep. You know, you know. So we're living in, in these times, man. Okay, and the Lord is what coming back real soon, man. So you gotta have that mind frame to get right with the God of the Bible, man, before it's too late. You know, and can we get a um, Luke uh, uh, twenty-one thirty-six real fast? You know. You know, because the Lord is going to bring death and destruction, man. You know? And you want to be found worthy to escape the death and destruction, man. Okay? You know? And we're talking to our people, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because the Lord says, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. You know? You know? And the Lord is going to put it in our mouth, say with the Lord, man. You know? This is Luke chapter 21, verse 36. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always. It said, watch ye therefore... And pray always. What are you watching? The signs of the times, man. All right? You're watching, you know, everything that's going on the earth, and you're measuring it up with the scriptures, man. Okay? So watch you there and pray always, man. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. All right? And part of prayer, repentance is actual prayer, because prayer goes back to begging. All right? You're begging for forgiveness, man. Okay? All right? So it said watch. Not only watch what's going on and link it up with the scriptures, you know, and if you can't do that, you go to a, a man Lord that can. You know, all right. <clears throat> so get the breakdown in the scriptures, okay, and watch and pray. You know, part of that is repentance, man. Pray always, man. Constant rep repentance is an everyday process. Cause you look to turn back to the Lord. You, you know, you can't just turn back overnight and just be cold turkey everything. You know, things. Some things take time. And we're telling our people time is shortening, so get right with the Lord now, so you can start, you know, practicing those things, man. You know. And it says, and to stand before the Son of Man. So you can stand before Lord Yahweh Shai when he comes and be beaten up in a chariot and not be burned here in America with ice beam thermal and nuclear missiles, man. You want to be found worthy to escape death and destruction. Because remember, we were earlier that two thirds of our people are not going to be found worthy to escape the death and destruction. You know, they're not going to escape it, but we want to be found worthy to escape it, man. You know? If you get a uh, Secondary is 15 and 1. Because you know? we, hey, we're talking to our people, man. Turn back to the Lord, man. All right? Turn back to Yahweh Shem Shai before it's too late, man. Okay? You know? Because death and destruction is right around the corner, man. Right? We're seeing upwards of the people. We're seeing death and destruction. We're seeing calamities happen in this earth. All right? But we need to tell our people to get right with the God, God of the Bible, Yahweh Shem Shai, so you don't suffer death and destruction, man. Okay? You know? Because ultimately, we don't, we, we don't want our people to die. But guess what? Two-thirds of our people are not going to hearken, so they got to go. You know? This proverb, I mean, this is uh, second, second Edges, chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, 
the words of prophecy. Now it says, speak thou in the ears of my people that were my possessive. So let's talk to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the Lord's people, man. All right? Speak thou in the ears of my people the word of prophecy, meaning what? Telling you the future. All right? Pro mean before and facade mean to, uh, to speak, man. Okay? All right? So we're speaking of the future things, man. Okay? Speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, the words of the future, man. All right? Keep on reading. It says... Which I will put in thy mouth, say of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Which the Lord is going to put in our mouth, so the words that we're speaking are not our own words. Okay, these are the words of the Lord, man. All right, you want to read? It says, and cause them to be written in paper, mm -hmm. for they are faithful and true. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, meaning what? They will come to pass. We read right earlier, what? The Lord is not a man that he shall lie. So everything that he said in these scriptures right here, they're going to come to pass, man. Okay? Says, fear not the imaginations against thee. All right, those that believe, don't fear what people think about you. Don't fear it, man. All right, if you truly believe, just turn back to the Lord and keep on seeking your whole by Shemal Shai. Don't fear what people believe out here, man. Right, about you, man. Okay? Read it. it says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. It said, don't let the unbelief, because that's what incredulity means. Don't let your mom not believing, your dad not believing, your brother, your sister, your family, your friends. Don't let them not believe in uh, Trump your faith, man. Okay? You know? It says... And there's a reason why. Keep on believing because this is what happened unto them that don't believe. Can you read it? That speak against thee. That speak against thee. Come on. It says, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All those that don't want to be faithful, that don't want to trust in the Lord, that don't want to hearken and turn back and have, have faith and repent, all right, are, they're going to die in their unfaithfulness. It didn't say those that trusted in the Lord are going to die in their in their belief. It said those that what don't trust in the Lord, they're unfaithful. They're going to die, man, in their unfaithfulness. Man. So this is why what you turn to your house by Shemuel Shah because guess what? You trusting in the Lord and repenting, the Lord's going to protect you in these last days, man. You know, the Lord said what we were earlier that what He's saving in a time of trouble, man. Okay, you know, He can forgive of sins to those that trust in Him, man. Okay. You know, so you gotta trust in the Lord to be even forgiven for your sins, man. You know, and our people think if their sins are forgiven, I'm saved. The time of troubles haven't came fully yet, man. Okay, you know, but when they do come and they hit Jacob's trouble, you want to be found safe. But two thirds of our people are not gonna be safe. Man. Okay. You want that? No, that was it. That's it. John 14. Yeah. All uh, right. This is uh, Second Edges 15 and 14. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. Mm-hmm. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. See, the same people who don't want to argue this is work, their sword and destruction are going to draw nigh, man. They're going to suffer calamities, man. And this is what's going to happen. This is why we tell people to get right with God the Bible. It says, <clears throat> And one people shall stand up to fight against another. All right. And swords in their hands. All right, these race rights, these class rights, you know. This is what's going to be happening, man. All right, can you read it? For there should be sedition among men. What uprising against the government? That's what you see right now. All right, there's another uh, uh, so-called black man, all right, uh, uh, killed by the police. You know? It says, uh, <clears throat> in invading one another, mm -hmm. Inva uh, home invasions, home invasions at an all-time high. Look what's going on in Chicago. You know, you got the uh, uh, all these gangs getting up. That's the sedition among men. Uh, stopping their beef against each other. They come up and if you, they see a police uh, about to shoot an armed a man, they're going to shoot down the police, man. That's what's, that's what's the time that we're coming in, man. All right? You know, uprising against the authorities, man. All right? Yeah. That uh, going to the uh, houses and all that, the, um, the elder, um, not to say, but he had uh, put a lesson up last night, and it uh, went into... Um, how they gonna be removing people out of uh, their homes yep. for uh, that uh, COVID-19 yep. and everything. So if your child got it, you don't got it, they'll try and take your child and whatnot. The scenario play out like they can have them in a FEMA camp, yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah. See, this is the times that we're living. This is why we tell our people, you need to get right with God the Bible because he's gonna protect his elect from all these things, man. You know? They said that what? If you do good, that no torment shall touch you, man. You know? All these things are written for the wicked, man, okay? Not the not the righteous man, okay, which is the elect.
This is uh, 2 Hedges 15 and 16. For there should be sedition among men mm -hmm. and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And that's the time that we're living in right now. The kings or princes sub under authority. Madness, man. Let's see, the, the word is coming out and these people with the demons is hopping on them, man. Okay? You know? Death and destruction is around the corner. You ain't got people doing bullshit like this, man. See, that's why a lot of people are gonna be destroyed, man. You know, because eventually there's a nigga in the car, man. Either way, he's gonna be destroyed. You, yeah. know, you never know, he might be a That's some bullshit, man. But hey, man, our people are gonna be destroyed, man. And these wicked people out here, too. They're gonna be destroyed, you know, because they wanna uh, hinder the words of the owl by shooting all shot, man. Okay? It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So whatever a man desires to do, he's gonna do it. And there's gonna be no consequence for it because there ain't gonna be no police. If you're a police officer, you're gonna be like, man, fuck, you know, fuck this. I got a family at home. You know, a man is gonna think, how can I get home to my family, man? All right? If that, and that, if that means I gotta quit, that means I'm gonna quit. And there's gonna be no police out here, and but every man's gonna do what he wants out here, man. There's gonna be chaos. There's literally gonna be the purge out here. You know? Anarchy. Says, um, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city uh -huh. and shall not be able. A man is going to desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. All right, what mean what? City lockdown, man. Okay? You're not going to be able to leave your city, man. Okay? You know, you're not going to be able to leave your state, which there's, they're all pushing these things, man. All right? There's still states out there where people are not allowed to leave, man. You yeah. know? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. You know? That Black Roman said, what, the, the pride, all those calamities that are coming upon you, you know? Through the city's pride, these people in these cities, all right, was the city is really a people before it's a place, you know? The, more, the, the city itself is not committing sin, it's the people that's in it, you know? Because of the pride, these places are going to be destroyed, man, okay? The, house you shall, the houses shall be destroyed, uh -huh. and all men shall be afraid. All men shall be afraid, man, okay? Men are going to be afraid, so how much women, man, who can't? can't kill a cockroach, man, you know? All right? Who, who gets scared out of mouse, man? These people are going to be extremely, extremely afraid, man, you know? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, uh -huh. but shall destroy their houses with the sword. All right? He's not going to have no pity upon his neighbor, all right? It could be your neighbor for 25 years. Y'all close, y'all kids get married or whatever. Guess what? Y'all going to be at each other's throats, man, in that day, man. No pity upon his neighbor, man. You know, and it's all because of what, brother? It says, and spoil their goods. And still look, steal their items, okay? Anything that they have. Because of the lack of bread. Because of a famine, a lack of what, food, and what? And great tribulation. And great tribulation, man. You know, it's catching pure hell. People would uh, become very, very beastly. Gonna judge people, man. You know, that's why we're not worried about nothing because the Lord's gonna judge people just like that, man. All right, He's gonna remember that what He came across the men of the Lord, did the bullshit, and now you're getting judged for it, man. And that's the time that we're coming into, man. That same man is gonna be what? Feeling fear in his heart for the death and destruction, man, that's coming on this earth, man. You know? You want that? I think that's all. You get a uh, second answer, it's uh, 16. And, um, uh, read verse 17. You know, you know, and we'll probably end it off on this. This is Second Edges chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me! Woe is me! He said, Woe is me! Woe is me! And this is Edges, man. All right, because he's he's about to see what the things that are about to come to pass. A lot of these people are about to suffer what Ezra is about to bring about, about, to, about to bring out right here, man. Who will deliver me in those days? Mm -hmm. Even though we know that Ezra is part of the elect, all right, he just saw all the death and destruction that was happening, and he was like, "Yo, how am I, how am I gonna get out of it?" You know? See, a lot of our people don't realize that they don't they don't have no clue what they're about to experience, man. You know? It's about to be the worst time on the planet Earth in history. No other time is gonna be like this time. That's scripture said. The beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. Well, see, we're only in the beginning of sorrows. Wait, when it hits the climax, man. The sorrows means pain of body, mind, and soul. Okay? You know? 
your whole spirit, your whole body, your whole mind frame is going to be afflicted, man. Okay? If you don't turn back to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Right? The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. And great mourning. People are going to be mourning like hell. Because people are, what, mourning on the low right now. Celebrities dying. They, they can't go out, go shopping, so forth and so forth, you know? You know? These are the things that are happening, Marie. The beginning of famines. I mean, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of famine and great death, man. Okay? You know? This is what we're uh, uh, um, entering into, man. All right? And the Lord's not playing with our people, man. All right? This is why we tell people to repent, because you don't want to be caught up in these things. Keep reading. The beginning of wars, mm -hmm. and the power shall stand in fear. Mm -hmm. Even what? These elites are going to be fearful for the things that come upon the earth, man. The Lord is really about to uh, uh, set blaze to this place America, man. Spiritually and physically, man. You know? But these people are about to literally feel the heat from the Lord, man. The calamity, the adversity, man. You know, this is why we tell our people what? To repent, turn back to Yahweh by Shemel Shot. The beginning of evils, mm -hmm. evil bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And, and the elect, what are they going to do? They're going to turn into the Lord, man. Okay? All right, but guess what? Two thirds of our people are not going to turn to the Lord and they're going to be destroyed, man. This is why we say what? Repent, repent, repent. Turn back to Yahweh by Shemel Shot before it's too late, man. All right? And we'll end up at the uh, good old morning. Yeah, yeah, read that one. Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, uh -huh. tribulation and anguish. Uh -huh. Meaning what? Anxiety. You're not knowing if you're going to live the next moment. Okay? You're not know what's going on. Famines, lack of bread and water, plagues, calamities, diseases, pestilence. Okay? Bombs going off. All these things are going to happen on in the soils of America. Man. What happened over there to Baruch? that happened over here to America, man. Okay? You know? Are set as scourges for amendment. Are set for scourges, beings for amendment, for you to change your act, man. All these things are bought for what? So you can repent, man. All right? But what's going to happen, bro? But all these things, they they should not turn from their wickedness. Two-thirds of our people, even though all this stuff is happening, they're not going to turn from the wickedness, man. So what? They're going to be destroyed, man. You read it? Nor be always mindful of the scourges. Do not be mindful of the beatings of the Lord, man, for them to get right. So what? They're going to suffer in that death and destruction, man. Okay? Like you, uh, you know, uh, go to a, a Sirach, not Sirach, uh, please be asked these. That's what I'm doing. And we end off on this, man, because like I said, the conclusion of the whole matter, all right, for you to turn back to the Lord, repent, you know, fear him, and uh, uh, keep his commandments to the best of your ability, man. Okay? You know? That's what we need to do as a nation of Israel, you know? Talk to you and we know that only the elect are going to do these things, all right? This, all right? this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. That's right. Fear Yahweh Bashim Shai and keep his commandments. Fear the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. Why? Because his judgments are coming, all right? And keep his commandments to the best of your ability, all right? Because you not only have faith, but now you have works that way you can get escape the death and destruction. That's what we want. We want to escape death, you know, and be protected in the times of trouble. Right? For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty. This is a requirement for the Israelite man, woman, and child. If you want to be protected from by all these calamities by the Lord, you have to fear him and keep his commandments to the best of your ability, man. All right? That's what we tell the people. So repent. Turn back to the Lord, man, before it's too late. That's all. Yeah. Uh, this is Matthew 24. And 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour Yahweh Bashim Yahushua doth come. Hey man, that, and that, hey, that was an ambulance for the Cape, uh, Cape Fair Valley Hospital, man. I right, said, so somebody's getting judged, man, because why they didn't want to hearken unto the God of the Bible. See, the Lord brings examples, man. All this time we're talking about what, what happens if you don't return. You had to suffer death and destruction or some type of calamity. The Lord brings an example by, man. You know? So, t hey, repent before that happens to you, man. And then that time, guess what? There ain't going to be no ambulance to take you nowhere. You know? Your scriptures say you're going you're to be dying out here and your, street, your body's going to be in the street like dung, man. Like, like shit, you know? It's uh, Matthew 24 and 42. Mm -hmm. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour... Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, both come. Alright, there, because what? The thief, 
You know, he's coming like a thief in the night. So what watch that you know that you can, you know, prepare yourself for the day the day of the coming of the Lord, man. The Lord Yahweh shall return, son. Alright, because you wouldn't be found worthy to escape the death and destruction, man. Alright? You know, so with that, talk to your elect, repent, turn back to Yahweh by Shema Shai before America is destroyed. Before we close out, we have to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who grew well and taught us this truth. And shout out to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of earth pushing this word and our righteousness, righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shout out to Shalom. Shalom.